Inbox is a, is, is a token that did very well in the last bull market. And looking at the chart of Sandbox, I mean, I want you to take a look at this chart right here. I mean, this right here looks really good to me in terms of accumulating. If you believe in the project, you know, you, you've done your research, you think the fundamentals are solid, and because of the fundamentals or because of, you know, whatever the results from your research, you think it is going to perform, you know, this is the time to get in. Because if you stay on the sideline, you know, waiting for the price to go lower, and again, you really have to ask yourself, you know, how low do you want the price to go? You know, you go from the top all the way down to the current price, sandbox is down 95%. 95%. You look to the left. Before the beginning of the last bull market, this was same box right here. You know, I'm sure if you can go back and you had the chance to accumulate, you know, right down here, knowing that this is what the chart is going to do. I mean, you would have went all in at this valuation right here. So here we are, you know, we gave back all of the gains from this last bull market. And if you think the project is very solid, you know, if the fundamentals haven't changed, if the reason you know, behind this move right here you know, hasn't changed, then this is a great time to get in. You know, you're looking at you know, getting in at the current price and going back to the old time high, you know, you're going to be up 1,700%. And again, that is just retesting. That is just retesting the old time high. You know, that is not putting in a new all time high. It is just retesting. So, if we get blessed and see a new all time high, again, Fibonacci targets. Now, let me show you what you're looking at in terms of targets. You know, you're looking at $10, and, you, and that puts your returns over 2,000%. Uh, next target, you're looking at $11. That puts your returns at 2,500%. You know, right after that, you have a bigger target, $13. That puts your returns at 2,800%. Uh, target number four, I'm just going to stop it right there because I don't want to over-exaggerate. You're looking at 3,500%. I mean, those are ridicul that's a ridiculous performance right there, guys. And that is, o that is only if, if we double from the previous all-time high. So if we see anything crazier than that, you know, if we triple, if we four times, you know, if we do a 5X from the last bull market, I mean, you're talking about, you know, flipping a couple thousands of dollars or maybe, you know, hundreds of dollars into thousands of dollars, tens of thousands of dollars, you know, hundreds of thousands of dollars, right? Or maybe, you know, a couple million dollars. So Sandbox looks undervalued to me. Uh, if not undervalued, you know, fair value. And if you're not getting in right now, you know, if you're bullish on the project and you're not getting in right now, if we finally break out, then I think you can only regret. Like this right here doesn't get better than this, guys. So you have this trend line right here. You have a potential double bottom. Potential double bottom. Okay. So, you know, we may not go lower than this. Like, we may not go lower than this. Uh, you look at the performance, you know, the last couple of months, Sandbox went, went up 150%. So, we gave back all of the gains from the last couple of months. And this is something that we actually talked about when it comes to a lot of these tokens. Uh, we said, that a lot of these tokens are going to give back, you know, most of their gains from 2023. Uh, we are going to see a major pullback. You know, some tokens are going to double bottom. Some tokens, we are going to see new lows. And some tokens are going to hold on very well. Uh, and we've seen that already. And we are continuing to see that. And I think where we are right now is, you know, really in the last you know, phase 
to accumulate a lot of these projects before this bull market because we are in the bull market you know before this bull market finally uh finally takes off so i hope you guys appreciate the content uh there wasn't much else to talk about you know other than that there's a few not just a few actually there's a bunch of projects with a similar story i mean you have one inch you know one inch is another one uh, one inch did very well the last bull market and when you look at the chart of one inch uh, this is not what i want to see uh, let's see i want to see something else One inch USD. Let's see Coinbase. What it looks like, uh, or maybe come right here. Let's do one inch. So if you look at one inch right here, guys, I mean this is one inch right here. From twenty twenty one, we went from a dollar all the way up to some ridiculous targets. Uh, but look at where the price is right now. I mean we're currently at tw at thirty one cents. So if you like one inch. If the fundamentals haven't changed, if the reason one inch went from a dollar all the way up to eight dollars, if that hasn't changed, then this is a great time to get in. Right? This is a great time to get in. Of course, you know, not financial advice, but I'm just looking at you know projects that performed very well in this last bull market that are undervalued right now. And one inch is absolutely one of them. Uh, not just one inch, you know, Gala. Uh, Gala is a project I'm actually very bullish on. Uh, I do have a Gala position. Not as big as I would like, but it is what it is. Uh, this is Gala right here, guys. This is Gala. Take a look at the chart of Gala. I mean, we are exactly where we were in 2020. You know, we are exactly where we were in 2020. We gave back all of the gains from the last two years. So if you were bullish on Gala in 2020, 2021, due to the fundamentals, and if the fundamentals haven't changed, then I don't know why you're not accumulating right now. And especially a project that was one of the best performer in the first phase of 2020. And again, we talked about you know, giving back all of these gains right here. And this is exactly what we did. Uh, you know, thankfully, we don't have new lows. You know, this to me looks like a like a double bottom. You know, we may consolidate for who knows how many how many more months. Once we finally break out, again, in terms of what you're looking at, let me show you. How ridiculous the returns could potentially be. I have to make sure that you guys can see the whole thing. So, I mean, getting in right here, I mean, this is crazy, guys. Just going back to going back to the old time high, I mean, you're looking at almost a 4,000% move. Are we going back to our old time high? Maybe yes, maybe not. But very interesting stuff. You know, very, very, very interesting. 